We're roadside boat picking in the Florida Keys to find the best deals on used boats. We're going to show you the good, the bad, the ugly, and you guys can decide if any of these boats are worth it or not. We're out here in the Florida Keys. We're in Isla Morada, right between Tavernier and Isla Morada. We're trying to find some boats that are on the side of the road and see what deals we can find. So, looks like you got a Seacraft 1972. This thing has been fully restored. They're asking 75 grand for this boat. It's a 1972? 1972. This thing was brand new. And this new. thing looks wow. like it came out of the showroom yesterday. Restored two years ago. Aluminum trailer, new GPS, completely redone. Needs nothing, turnkey, 75 grand. And let me tell you, we just came from the Miami Boat Show last week, and there's not one boat that's this good for that price. Wow. Doesn't exist. Look at this, got a beautiful aluminum trailer. These Seacrafts are known for their ride and how, how good they ride. This is a 1972 hull. <laughs> it's absolutely gorgeous. We're not gonna get on top of it because that's not our boat, but it's, it is beautiful. Wow. Let's see what we got what we got back here. So it's got uh, aluminum, uh, aluminum platform for the motors. It's got twin 175 Suzuki's. You know, we love Suzuki's. These things look brand new. They're brand new. And like the layout on these, well, look, it's got a nice sound system in there. It's got GPS's, bolsters. Looks like it's got, I mean, it's got a beautiful live wall. Everything's custom on. This thing is absolutely gorgeous for 75,000. This beats any of the boats that we saw at the, at the boat show, for sure. Absolutely. Whoever did this did an amazing job. Beautiful T-top, it's got the outriggers, hydraulic steering. This thing is sweet. Good deal. Super nice. Yeah. Well, you saw the number on there, so if you guys want this boat, give them a call. All right. Yep. Boat number two. 1976 Boston Whaler 17, 90 horsepower Yamaha, asking 8,500. These little boats are super sought after. This one's this one looks like it hasn't been restored. It looks like it's aged, but overall it looks in pretty good shape. These have like a cult following, and people love these things. And this one, you know, they're they're unsinkable. You know, I don't know if their ride is that great or not, but um, transom feels solid on here. Yeah, solid transom. A little swim ladder, 90 horsepower Yamaha. Those things are indestructible. Nice little seat. Got a little seat, but. <laughs> if you're looking for a little Boston Whaler, this, this is nice. Yeah, these things are known for just being rugged. Trailer looks like it's in rough shape. Looks like they fixed it up here, done a couple little rigs to it, but. 8,500. Gets you a 17 foot Boston Whaler with a 90 horsepower Yamaha. Let's see what else we got. Boat number three. We got a Hydra Sport 22 foot with a two stroke 200. Mariner Mercury with a jack plate, trim tabs, aluminum trailer. This is like a static. solid transom. This is a bay boat style. It's got this whole platform back here. It looks pretty good. It's got a nice trailer, aluminum trailer. They're asking, oh, look at that. That's pretty good. So this is a 2000 Hydra Sport. They're asking 13,000 for this thing. And this is a nice little hole. It's a good hole. Hydra Sports are known for being, you know, solid boats. Not bad, 13 grand. You know, as long as the motor runs, I know these, these two strokes may get problems and stuff if they're too old, but, you know, if that's the original motor at uh, 24 years old, you're, I think you're better off repowering to save you that peace of mind. But this is this is a good boat. It's got a nice T-top, VHF. It's got mechanical gauges. This will be a nice little hole just to repower if we had a new, new Suzuki on there. Oh, 
looks like it's taken care of. It looks nice and clean. Looks like it's got that tunnel, tunnel hole. Yeah, nice. Hydraulic steering. 13 grand, that's what you get. On to the next. Nineteen eighty-three, it said. Uh, a dusky marine. This looks like it's just the hole on its own. It looks pretty rough inside. <laughs> yeah. I mean, these these boats are known to be pretty strong and seaworthy. This one looks like it's in rough shape. Trailer's in rough shape. Got the, the transom's all screwed up. Gonna need to redo the transom on that. Fiberglass bracket. This transom is done. The floor looks like it's all done. Yeah. Well, says well, make an offer. Make an offer. <laughs> says make an offer, so. Make an offer. Got paint chipping away. Hey, we're looking to do a project. These boats are known to be really good, so. I don't know. On to the next. These two guys, two boats. So this is boat number five and six? Yep. Okay, so this looks like a hurricane. Hurricane style deck boat, aluminum trailer, little magma grill. Aluminum, that, that aluminum trailer is really nice. All right, look, here we go. Oh, so it's got an inboard, outboard, 5.7 Merc Cruiser, $10,000. Call Andy. Cool. Looks a little rough. Looks a little rough shape. Looks like a little rough shape. Can't really see too much inside. But it looks like it's got a little, maybe a head in here or something. So, ladder, looks a little beat up inside, got a little sink, a little, the bimini looks good, big bimini, 10,000, get you this Merc Cruiser, 5.7. All right, boat number six, look at this little skiff. I don't know what this is, but it's full of water, got a little 50 horsepower four stroke, looks like a little four stroke, yeah, Honda. Little skiff, little, it's banged up. Looks pretty banged up. Let's see what they're asking for. 2,500 bucks for this little thing. A little galvanized trailer. It says motor runs, needs TLC. Yeah, I'd say so. That's what you get for 2,500 bucks. I make them an offer. We get this thing for cheaper than that. Looks beat up. No. Oh. Hmm. Looks like a restored Boston Whaler. Do not board, I won't. Oh no, it's a Wahoo. 1986 Wahoo. Rebuilt car, compression test, 140 to 135, asking $11,500. Yeah. Oh. 11,500, that's a nice boat. 1986, looks like it's been restored, or at least kept up. Transom feels solid. Yamaha looks like it needs some, some work. It did a good job on this thing. Nice little T-top, hard top. The wood accents look really pretty. Right? Really yeah, do. make it look really nice. It's a nice little boat. This is like the Boston Whaler style. Yeah, they did a really good job with this. It's really, really nice. Huh. How much did they say? 10,500? Eleven thousand. Yeah. Yeah, eleven thousand five hundred for this. 
no hydraulic steering. I mean, if you like these old boats, you might want to take that motor off, sell it for, you know, 1500 bucks, put a down payment on a new Suzuki. <laughs> right. I mean, the transom. It's very pretty. Yeah, it's very nice, very classy. The transom feels solid. I'm sure the floor and everything else is solid. You put a new motor on this thing, you got a nice boat. Really nice. Huh. So, 11,500 bucks. All right, cool, so we got another we got two more boats. This is a Proline 17 foot, 1994. It says truck and boat. Do they mean trailer and boat or truck and boat? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe is there a truck that comes in this? <laughs> truck with a boat for 13 grand. <laughs> I, I don't mean, know where the truck is, but <laughs> maybe that truck. Maybe? Maybe. I mean, <laughs> hey, sign me it. up, right? <laughs> truck and a boat. So 8,500 bucks for this, this uh, Proline. It's a 94. It looks like it's got an upgraded Suzuki. Four stroke. Okay. Got some trim tabs that look like don't work. Transom feels solid. Sounds like it. Yeah, transom is solid, which is a good sign. Uh, Suzuki four stroke, these things last forever. Uh, looks a little, you know, just not well maintained, but 8,500 bucks seems a little steep, but might be able to good, give it a good cleaning. Got a little T-top. T-top, this will get you out in the water for 8,500 bucks. I think it's a little much, but you might be able to negotiate and get a better deal. Yeah. Who knows, maybe the floor is solid, it just needs a good Yeah, maybe the wash. floor is solid, it looks a good, you know, might be able to give it a might be able to give it a good power wash, and if the motor runs and it's got low hours, it didn't say anything about the hours up there, did it? I don't no. believe so. But no. how's the trailer looking? Pretty good, right? The trailer is aluminum, so that's a plus. You know, that's worth at least you know fifteen hundred bucks. So that's pretty good. <laughs> All right, let's go on to this other boat because there's another boat right next to it. And I think this might be an old Bayliner. This has a nice aluminum trailer too, dual axle. Let's see. Uh, I don't see a price, do you see a price? Uh, Looks like there might've been a price on there. 10,000 it says. It? Yeah, it says 10,000. Maybe 10, they changed their minds because it's crossed out. Yeah, because it's crossed out, so. What's that phone number? 203-648-1598. Yeah. Anybody's interested? Yeah. Let's see. Right. So this trailer is... This transom? No bueno. Yeah, this transom is done. It's got a Mercury Optimax 125. I don't think those motors are any good. The inside looks pretty, uh, it's got that sea deck flooring, but it's seen better days. T-top, some electronics, VHF radio. Speakers. I mean, it looks kind of like rigged up. Looks like there's a solar panel up there. This thing looks really beat up. It's all porous and really nasty. And if they're asking 10 grand for this thing, they're crazy. And I, I think, if I'm not mistaken, this is a, a bay liner. It's got those weird lines. Pretty ugly boat. <laughs> but hey, if that's your thing. Yeah, these motors aren't good. Look, the, the trim motor needs to be changed already. It's got hydraulic steering though. The seat deck looks kind of crappy. You can see it's coming off spots mm. you know parts look you got parts thrown around in there 10 grand you're nuts I think that's why it's crossed out probably maybe they changed their mind yeah. on to the next 
Congrats. I think this is a truck that comes with the uh, boat. So, hey, look, for 3,300 bucks, after a couple, you know, what, what, that, what was that one, 8,500? For 8,500 bucks and $3,000, you get I a truck so. and a boat. Ready to go. All right, what do we got? We got a little Key West. A little Key West. A little Yamaha 150. This thing looks new. Right? 20 foot, 2018 Key West 203 FS, asking 40 grand, 40K. Oh. Mm. 40K. I don't know. Aluminum trailer. It's got the nice wheels on it. It's got the Yamaha four stroke. It's really, really clean inside, so they've taken care of this thing. That's nice. Yeah. It's got trim tabs on there. ladder yeah you can tell this thing's been taken care of 40 grand 40 grand seems a little steep we just came from the boat show last week and you could get a brand new 22 foot Carolina skip for 40 grand you know this might be a little bit of a better boat but that's what you're looking for maybe it's uh, negotiable 40 grand 2018. It's got a T-top. Got the two seats up here. It's bolstered all around. They've maintained this thing really good too. It's got a nice shine. It's been waxed. You can see all the water coming off of it. No bottom paint. Looks good. 40 grand. Key West. Underwater lights. Trailer looks brand new too. <laughs> so we've reached the end of Key Largo. We're already at the end. There's tons of boats out here. We didn't get to see all of them. But if you're ever down here in the Keys, pull over. You might be able to find yourself a deal. We'll see you in the next one.